my first thing is, what am I going to do with this piece of paper? What word can I possibly begin with? Or what idea have I got that might fit in? And it, it will vary. Sometimes it'll be a single word that I want to put in this clue somewhere and I have to find the right place for it to go. Sometimes it will be a theme. And again, the same thing. What, I've got to find the grid that will fit it. There's always a, a, more than one way you can clue a word. Usually there's several possible ways. Uh, but you have to decide which one you want to do. Um, you have to decide whether it's best to, whether it's going to be an anagram clue, whether it's going to be a hidden clue, whether it's going to be just simply a misleading definition sort of clue, or whatever. Obviously, I've got to have a, a certain level in view. I mean, that if you need, if you're doing a, a puzzle which you know is supposed to be a difficult one, then it'll be different if you want to, if you're doing what you know it's got to be easy. Because I do some puzzles for people who don't require the sort of stuff, tough stuff that goes into the Guardian. The clues I've, that I think worked best, so it's, it's not all that exciting, but uh, the, gener the general, uh, general election clue, which is uh, going to the country, let Green Line coach drop com companion off. I think that's been my best clue, though it isn't it's sensational. When the people come and ask me to sign these things just now, I found myself signing it at Alcaria, which I don't think I usually do. So I'm wondering whether perhaps I've got, perhaps it's sort of settled into me now. Of course, I've been in it for a few years, but, but I've always said I was an idiot to choose a name which people could neither spell nor pronounce. <laughs> when I'm session puzzles, then I'm having fun. That's what it's about, really. Um, I'm hoping that my, well, I don't think about my solvers, but I'm, that's the idea behind the whole thing. That they should enjoy it too. Because I want to share things, but I enjoy them. And that's, I think that's very natural and common a common trait in humanity, I think. I think the idea that people have got to have a definition of a clue is, is quite unnecessary. Uh, you've got to have something which, which makes it quite clear to the solver that, that, well, the clue has got to lead to the solution in some way or other. As long as it does that, there's no, nobody has a right to complain. Uh, I mean, assuming, it's, it leads, assuming it leads to it in a reasonably sensible manner, I mean, you, you can obviously get some Things are just too obscure altogether, and some people who have said, some some people who are setting crosswords are, are so ingenious that they think it's completely impossible to, to solve. It's very clever of them to do it, but it doesn't any use because it can't be solved. I do do puzzles for other other people as well. Others, other I do some for the Financial Times, uh, and I do them for magazines. I do individual ones. So the Guardian puzzles are not are not the, the, the whole thing, but. But I do, I am a, I'm a Guardian person. I mean, I'm, what the Guardian's ideals are more or less my ideals. And I know they're, they're a bit right wing for me, but nevertheless, you know, they're, they're the nearest thing we've got.